Right now, a Fairfax Station boy is undergoing emergency life-saving treatments at a Nova Children's Hospital. Yeah, he, he stepped out of his door and into the fangs of a copperhead snake. Mm. Stephen Cheetah just spoke to the boy and his mother. Stephen. Gordon, the boy is undergoing a series of anti-venom injections, basically through an IV. They're trying to, to fight off this poison as quickly as possible. Now, his mother and he say they knew there were copperheads in Northern Virginia. They just didn't expect to find one on their doorstep. It was outside. It was just sitting on the mat. 12-year-old Michael Alford is in a hospital bed, all because of these two puncture wounds. They came from this copperhead. So I opened the door. And I step on the snake, a copperhead. Yeah, I don't know if I stepped on his tail or his head, but and then I took my foot off of him and he bit me. Alfred's mother asked him to run to the car in about 10.30 last night. What he came back with left her frightened and frantic. As he just ran up to the steps and then he looked at me and he was like, the snake just bit me and I'm like, what? So I was a little freaked out. The family came to Innova Children's Hospital, which is equipped to <laughs> administer the series of anti-venom shots necessary. Dr. Minal Amin says copperhead bites can be serious. They've seen a couple in the past few weeks at Innova Fairfax Hospital. We would recommend for someone to um, get away from the snake and elevate the extremity and come to the nearest hospital. Meanwhile, Michael Alford watches as the swelling, which had surged up his leg, slowly recedes. I'm getting better. The, the anti-venom's pushing it back to where it, where it started. He still has to undergo a few more of those injections of anti-venom serum, and he will remain in the hospital for at least the next several hours. Now, animal control officials say that copperheads are common in Northern Virginia, and as more property is developed, it's more likely to encounter them. As for this particular copperhead, well, Michael's mother took a quick picture of it, and then she watched it as it slithered away. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News.